could SGU actually make a return? Is it practical? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So I recently did a video about Stargate Universe and how Joseph Malozzi and Brad Wright have both said that when the new series of Stargate comes, if ever it comes, they really hope to have a conclusion for the SGU storyline. We might actually get to go out and save Eli. Now, we have got some comics, but that's beta canon that tells us what happened after the SGU series finished. But if it didn't happen on screen, for me, it didn't really happen. So Joseph Malozzi, Brad Wright, have really got free reign to try and figure this out. But is it practical to do this? Could we actually get the actors, the, or at the very least the main actors that are involved in SGU to return? Now I should say, first of all, I don't think SGU is gonna get series. I don't think we're gonna get a new 10, 12, 22 episode, whatever series of Stargate Universe. Eli Wallace? Actually, uh, Eli's not here right now. Okay, okay, whatever you guys think that I did, I swear you got the wrong guy. Do I look like someone who'd be standing here if I didn't already know everything there is to know about you? Yeah, not really. Right. But I could see that as part of a new series, we could get uh, maybe a double episode, or maybe even a short little mini-series of five, six, eight episodes where SGU is resolved. So, what are the actors doing now? Could they return, at the very least, for a couple of episodes? Basically, where I'm going with this is, I've looked at their IMDB, I've looked at projects that are coming up over the next couple of years for the main actors, and I'm trying to see if any of them are actually signed up to anything that would restrict their ability to return. I'm sorry, um, on the way to... To another planet, 21 light years from here. I can't go, I... I... I have things that... We know about your mother's condition. You just know everything, don't you? We also know that you are currently unemployed. And that your mother's medical coverage is uh, an ongoing issue. So let's start with Robert Carlyle, one of the biggest and most successful actors from Stargate Universe. Well, he's got a couple of projects in the running at the moment, but there are a couple of movies. The performance is in production at the moment, and The Blade Artist is in early production. Both of these movies will last over the last 12 months or so, but I don't actually think either would stop Robert Carlyle from returning to the SGU, at very least in a limited way. And we could see Rush return to Stargate Universe. Every intention you broke the code. Yes. When? Does it matter? When? Shortly after the Lucian Alliance attack. I wanted to tell you, but I had to make sure I knew everything about this before I let it... I should have killed you when I had the chance. Louis Ferreira, Colonel Young. Now, he's had quite successful runs on things like SWAT since Stargate ended. But I had a look at what are his projects coming up. He has a quite a small part in a movie called Action Number One. Actually, keep an eye open for this. I've read the synopsis. Go on to IMDb and have a look. It actually sounds pretty cool. Um, he also is doing a mini-series called Shogun, but really it's not clear how big a part he is in doing in that. But his career does seem to have slowed down a little bit in the last 12 months. Louis Ferreira, our Colonel Young, could most definitely 100% return to the SGU. Brian J. Smith, Lieutenant Matthew. Now, he has actually done a lot of quite big projects and appeared in a couple of series since, um, I remember one called The Crossing, which got cancelled after one series, which was really annoying, so I actually quite like that. Um, but again, I had a look at what he's doing over the next 12 months. He's doing something called The Class of 09, which is a mini-series, which again, looks like quite an interesting project. And he's doing a movie, The Treatment, which is in post-production at the moment, so he's actually already done the work for that. So again, Brian J. Smith, is not signed up to any major series or any major franchise. So I don't see any reason why we couldn't see Lieutenant Matthew return to the SGU. Right. Uh, I, I think I want my lawyer to look it over first. And by lawyer, I assume you mean mother. So we'll just agree then that I will call you. But 
But what about one of our favourite characters, Eli? Well, David Blue actually is on the internet a lot. He, um, he's on something called Twitch and he does a lot of gaming things or whatever as well. But he is still working as an actor. Um, but the only thing actually on IMDb at the moment is um, a movie called Death Camp, which he's just completed. It's in post-production. I don't see any other projects that he's signed up for at the moment. So having Eli return to the SGU is not only a possibility, I actually imagine it would be very, very easy. And to be honest, if they wanted to do something quite restricted, or if they only brought Eli back, um, if that's what the story dictated, I actually think fans would be okay with that. I know personally I would. I'm not that invested and not that bothered about a lot of these other characters. I'm going to talk about a couple more in a minute. But if they saved Eli, I'd be quite happy. I mean, I'd be very happy if actually they saved him and he returned and became a regular in whatever new series they had because he was always an actor I really liked. And that boy has worked out. Um, he has sorted himself out. He's not the chubby little comedy fella he once was. So let's talk about a couple of actors that either I'm not bothered about returning or just won't. And there's one name, obviously, you're going to know. What? Why didn't you pull that trigger? There's no predicting how someone's going to react in a pressure situation. Panic sets in. People freeze. It happens. But not to you. Something got inside your head. What? I think I died. Jamil Walker-Smith played uh, Master Sergeant Greer. Now he was a character I always actually really loved because he was always a bit dangerous and a bit crazy. He has done several movies and appeared in a few series. At the moment he's appearing in um, a little short run um, in The Rookie. He's appeared in two or three episodes. Um, he has done something called Steal That Horse, which is in development at the moment. Um, he's done Chuck Hank and the San Diego Twins, which is in post-production at the moment as well. So again, he's not signed up to any major franchise. He could very easily return. And to be honest, he's a character I would like to see return because he had a bit of an edge to him. Somebody who I'm not bothered about returning is Chloe. Ellie, oh, no, sorry, I can't really say this woman's name. Elise Levesque. Elise Levesque. She has got several projects and she's a writer, director and producer now as well. Um, but she's actually not signed up for anything. But you know what? I don't care if she's or not. She's very forgettable from the series and I don't care if she returns. Not even a little bit. Another one who I don't care about returning is Elena Huffman. Now she played the Lenin and Tamara Johansson. She was the doctor in SGU. Um, she again had a very forgettable role. They had that whole thing with Young. Didn't care. She's quite, she's a very beautiful woman, fair enough, but if she doesn't return, nobody would notice, and I personally don't think anyone would really care. Ming Nawa didn't have a massive role in SGU, don't let's, you know, let's go be wrong. She has become very popular since, obviously, she had her part in the uh, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which she was brilliant in, and obviously now she's just done the book of Boba Fett and she signed up to appear in a couple of other series on along the Star Wars line. Her character in that series is absolutely fantastic. And she is the woman that never ages. She's incredibly beautiful. She's still as gorgeous as she was 20 years ago in SGU and any other series she's done. And it's unbelievable that woman is well into her 50s. She will not be returning to the SGU. I do not see her being able to. She has signed up to a major franchise with Star Wars. She's not just doing Boba Fett, but she's doing other series as well. So uh, we're not going to see Ming-Na Wah return. And to be honest though, it's not going to be a big problem because like I said, her role wasn't that big. But how could they explain why certain characters have just not returned? Well, to be honest, it wouldn't be hard. More than a decade has gone by since SGU ended. There was a decade of the destiny getting continuously battered. We could say that, you know, stasis pods failed or something else. There's lots of ways they could write it in that one, two, three, four, maybe characters return and the rest sadly don't make it. it You're a good man, Eli. I get this done. I want to see you on the other side.
wouldn't be difficult to write this in and you know it would be really logical so let's see what happens we are going to get a conclusion to the SGU according to Brad Wright so let's fingers crossed that actually a lot of the actors are available and this really seriously could happen very easily so if you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out. Also, you could consider becoming a fully fledged side trekker. Hit the join button. It really supports the channel and helps us keep going. As always, please stay safe. Get in the comments. Tell me exactly what you think. And I'll see you next time.